What's up guys? Welcome back to the Beginner FBA Hustle video series. I'm Jason and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about places to source for products. I'm going to be focusing mostly on retail arbitrage since this is a beginner course. Uh, so some of the best places I could recommend for sourcing and the cheapest number one is thrift stores and by thrift stores I mean uh, Goodwill, Salvation Army, Savers uh, the main reason why I, re I recommend going to thrift stores yeah a lot of the items you're, you're gonna find are used but when you do find the new items um, you can actually even source for used items just when you bring it home make sure it works if it's some kind of electronic or, or kitchen appliance um, just make sure it works send it in and you should be good to go but thrift stores usually are the cheapest and they give back the biggest profits from any other sources so that's thrift stores uh, number two I really like going to big box stores um, specifically the clearance aisles uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the Walmarts in your area the targets uh, for me I'm living in Hawaii and Bed Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond is actually really good they have a really nice clearance section that they update every week so we're able to get a a ton of really good stuff from there and really it again it depends on your area uh, go to all these big box stores and um, go through their clearance aisles and scan with your Amazon seller app. Um, you won't know until you just go out there and scan. Uh, so number three for the best places to source are garage sales. Um, garage sales are sort of like thrift stores. They're very cheap. Uh, but since well, what I've what I've been noticing was since the items are from previous owners the previous owners um, more than more than some they, they actually take care of the items and a lot of the times they're just trying to get rid of it because they're moving or or whatever reason but it's in good condition and they still come with the boxes so that's why I like garage sales and one tip for garage sales I do recommend downloading the yard sale app uh, the yard sale app is basically an app that you can download that links with Craigslist and depending on your area it'll find all the nearest um, garage sales near you or yard sales and it'll plop it on a map so you want to download that just type in yard sale and it should be available for both um, Apple devices and um, Android devices and it's really really easy to use so it took me a while to start doing yard sales but that's my one regret I wish I started that sooner um, also kinda of think about your area um, here in Hawaii swap meets are very popular so I try to mix swap meets with uh, yard sales on the same day and between those two I'm able to find a lot of good stuff okay so when it's done downloading just go ahead and open it accept it and yeah this app will show you all the yard sales that are that are near you so yeah download it guys and yeah garage sales are, are definitely a great place to source um, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do me a favor. If you found value in this video, like and subscribe this channel for more videos. Um, this is just one part of a multiple video series for beginner Amazon FBA sellers. Alright guys, I'm Jason. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next tutorial.